Hello and welcome to Crosslet. We are going to talk today about word roots. Word roots are uh, very important because they allow us to break down words uh, for their meaning. Let's create a little list here. By, uh, by understanding the basics of word roots, we can dissect the meanings of words and sentences. We can become better at spelling. We can become better communicators. And we can take large steps to expand our vocabulary. So, today we will talk about prefixes. Now, what is a prefix and what is a suffix? Note that the word prefix and suffix itself have prefixes and suffixes. Pre meaning before and suff meaning after, fix, meaning something that is fixed. So the prefix is what begins a word. So in the word prefix itself, pre is a prefix. And in the word suffix itself, fix is a suffix. So the prefixes today we will talk about are location-based. We will talk about three different location-based prefixes. Extra, or another way of saying it is extro, intra, or intro, and the third one is inter. Now, what is the definition of each of these prefixes? Extra means basically outside or in surplus. Intra or intro means inside and inter means between. So you have outside, inside, and between. Bet and between these th three prefixes we can cover a lot of wor words. So let's talk about different examples of the extra. So there's extraterrestrial And that basically means there's extra outside of, and then terrestrial is earth or land. And the common definition for that is alien, because they do not belong on earth. Although some may say they do. There is extraordinary, which means outside of ordinary or beyond ordinary would be more of a common definition. There's extract which means to pull outside. So I guess a, a way of breaking it down is outside of and then act meaning basically acting outside of, or in this case, pulling. Then there's extro. You see here we use extro this time instead of extra. So you've got extrovert. And this time it means an, an outgoing person or outside of vert, which I can't tell you exactly what that means. Maybe um, it's how people converse or communicate. So can you think of any examples of extra or extra? Let's see if you can take a minute just to think about it. And now that you've taken that minute, 
uh, we will go on to intra and intro. Maybe you can think of a couple of those before me. So intra, can you think of a word that has intra as a prefix? One of them is intrastate highway, which means highway within a state. So again, that's intra, which means inside, and then state. And then there's, before we did extrovert, so the opposite of that would be introvert, which means inside of, and then again, vert, which is a suffix that might be worth looking up. So I just, just looked up vert, and basically, let's pull this over here, it means to turn. Some of the examples are convert, divert, invert, revert, which basically means uh, a direction that is turned. So for example, divert means to split directions, invert means inward direction, revert means go back in direction. So, in this case, introvert would be to turn inside, or another word is shy. And what other examples are there? There is intravenous, so that's inside, and venous is a vein. So doctors and, uh, and anesthesi anesthesiologists like to use this word pretty often because they are talking about inside the vein. Now the last word here is inter, which means between. Can you think of any words that begin with inter? There's interact. That would be between and act or acting between two people, or objects, or whatever. And then there is interstate highway, before we used intrastate, so this is interstate between highways. Between states, I mean. Be highway between states, and then there's intercept, as in football, and that would be basically when def oh, definition here is when two objects or actions meet, and one object disrupts the other. And sept in this case means to take. Let's go to this website here. Sept means to take, to seize, to hold. So basically, you are holding between, you're taking between. So basically, one object takes from another. And let's see what else interrupt. So think of corrupt or erupt uh, generally means kind of an eroding uh, action. So you are basically uh, eroding a, um, a certain action. So the, the definition here is when one object, action, or individual disrupts the projection of another object, action, or individual. Can you think of any other words that begin with inter? See if you can take a second to think about this. And that, folks, is the end of the lesson. Thank you for your time. You can see that this is very valuable.
because you learn very simple prefixes and suffixes, but at the same time, you are expanding your vocabulary and your, your overall capability so that you can be a better speller, communicator, um, and you will be able to dissect the meanings of words and sentences, and overall be better at language. So thanks again.